Hey guys, Margaret Lynch here, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program, and in this video, we are going to do a process, a little um, process, and then some tapping, and probably a cool visualization around getting out of that sort of spinning in your head frenetic energy and into your body, into your most powerful self, so that you can do whatever you want to do, chillax, calm down or get more stuff done, right? Now, I'm going to first give you um, the top reasons why we get into this spinning in our head or frenetic energy where we're just sort of all over our place, all over our place. Now, the first reason is when we are overwhelmed with too much to do. And it feels like we have too much to do and not enough time to do it. And we just start to feel like, oh my God, I have so much to do and I can't get it all done and I don't even know where to start, etc. That can put us into our head, into that spinning energy. And so many coaches um, experience this because we are home on our own trying to build our business and there's so much to do. There's so much we can do. There's so much everyone is telling us that we should do to market ourselves and other things that it can get very overwhelming and we end up just sort of spinning in our head and feeling like, now I'm like not getting anything done, right? So that's reason number one is being overwhelmed with too much to do. Reason number two is when we are in a state of indecision, when we have to make a decision and we're not sure what to do. And instead of going into our body and actually feeling our way through it, we spin in our head and spin and spin and spin and spin. We've been hearing and my team has been talking to a lot of people like that this week because with the open enrollment of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach training program that actually ends today, it creates a lot of that like spinning. Should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? Even when we feel called to make a decision or we really want it, we have anxiety, it can put us in that like indecisive place. So instead of getting clear, um, which I always say, get on the phone, ask a question, get your answer so that you can make the decision because being in that state of indecisiveness about anything in your life just kind of keeps you spinning and spinning and spinning. And I've absolutely done that. I know there was a time where I spun in my head for a year over a hard decision that I had to make because I just couldn't finally make the decision. The third reason is, is a reason that I have been immersed in right now, which is when something really big is shifting or happening, even when it's something super exciting, right? And so it can be something big that's a negative stressor or it can be something big that's a U stress, right? E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S. -E -S -S. Something that's really big and exciting because again, we've been in open enrollment for the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. We've never enrolled this many people this fast. So coming into this last day, we only have a few spots left and it's super exciting, right? I also put out four videos and there's been like 4,000 comments on them, heartfelt comments, and it just feels really good. And I can just look at the numbers and I can just look at the people and look at their comments and look at the, the questions we're getting. And it's just like keeping me in this intense energy state where it's like, go, 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 go. And I've done three webinars in only a week's time. And every one of them takes preparation. It takes energy. It's at night. And I'm spinning a lot, right? It's hard to come into your body. So those are the three top reasons that we can really be frenetic and spin in our body. And some people are actually big thinkers, right? And they can actually be a little bit more wired to do that. So let's jump in and test where you are so that we can start to do some tapping to get you back into your body and maybe some a visualization to help with that too. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes. Take a breath, and because I want you to imagine something, right? And we're going to do this really quick. I want you to close your eyes and imagine that there you are in your office, um, the place or the place in your house or patio where you normally get your most work done because coaches often work from home, right? And so just see yourself, just like your mind is like painting you a picture or your imagination is painting you a picture sitting there and see yourself, right? And now I want you to surround yourself with all of the metaphors and images of what tends to overwhelm you. Because for so many coaches, it's like all this stuff that I have to get done. And some of the people who signed up for my program are feeling that way, like now there's all this training they gotta get through, right? They gotta figure out the systems, they gotta get in. But, but either way, when we start a new business and we wanna grow our business, there's so much to do. So I like to imagine like, close my eyes and visualize that there I am in my office and there's just like stacks of folders and they each have a name on it, like, Facebook marketing, website, you know, offers, um, you know, flyers for workshops, talks, and there's just all of these folders. 
and you're just sitting with it like every one of them is important. Some of them you have spent money on and just feel that there's so much to do. And the other way we layer overwhelm in here that really makes us spin is when an inside voice says, and you got to do it perfect and you should have already had so much of this done. Those are the key inner words that we say to ourselves that actually make us even more frenetic in our head spinning. So I want you to see yourself there, close your eyes and see yourself, all of those folders and maybe this inside voice saying, you got to get it all done. You should have already had it done. And by the way, you got to do it all right. You really need to figure this out and get it done all right. And it's so important. Right? So just see in the picture. What does your mind paint the picture of you? How much are you spinning it in your head? If calm and in your body is a zero on a scale of one to ten, how much are you spinning in your head? And just look at that for a minute. Notice where your energy is. Notice how you're feeling. And notice how scattered you are, right? How ineffective you are. And so this is a state we want to catch ourselves in and be able to come out of it. So let's jump in and do some, some EFT tapping to actually take ourselves out of that state. Ready? So you'll know how to do it for the future. There I am. And just repeat after me. Tap along with me. I'm spinning in my head. I'm spinning in my head. A million directions. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Overwhelmed. So much to do. So much to do. And I got to do it all correctly. I put a lot of pressure on myself and it's all important and it all feels urgent spinning and thinking frenetic mental energy frantic energy but I'm not able to focus Spinning in my head, totally out of my body, frantic, panicky energy. Meanwhile, not getting things done. And that adds to the pressure because I start criticizing myself. Frenetic mental energy. Okay, and take a breath and close your eyes and just feel that energy. And I want you to just visualize the picture again because it's a great way to test where you are. Just see yourself now. Hopefully, from that round of tapping, um, you can actually see yourself a little bit more grounded and in your body and present, right? And so, of course, at the end of this video, you can always rewind it and do that tapping again. But it's just so super powerful to see that you go into that state and that there is a way to catch yourself, right? Like Eckhart Tolle says, catch yourself in the act of just being spinning in your head and come back into your body. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a breath and close your eyes again. And I just want you to imagine that you can watch this picture because something is about to change. See yourself sitting at your desk. And I want you to imagine that you could just see this red ball of energy starting at your feet. It's like moving up from the earth into your feet and it's moving up into your legs and it's that solid, grounded energy, that first chakra in your body, solid, grounded energy. And just imagine that red color. It's like your feet are starting to almost like pulse with this red vibrant energy. So just notice your feet for a second. It's a strange thing to notice our feet, but notice your feet. Actually like live in your feet with your consciousness for a second and see if you can almost start to feel that energy moving in your feet and imagine that red color coming all the way up your legs, all the way up into your body in meeting and calming that mental energy. It's like you start to come down like a thermometer coming down and you start to meet yourself in your core. 
Okay, so just feel that grounded, powerful energy. You are in your most powerful place. I call it your foundation of power when you are in your body. And it's such an important place to be. But we can add something even more cool in just a few seconds here, right? Because what I want you to now close your eyes again and also see is imagine if there was a beautiful violet light coming up from the heavens, from the divine, down into the top of your head and just radiating over you with the beautiful violet light of what I call the se of what we call the seventh chakra and just see that illuminating down onto your head and over your body and through your system and you're there filled with this grounded red light so you can actually receive inspired ideas ideas that lead to inspired actions and this violet light lights up some indigo light, which would be your sixth chakra. It lights it up because there's quantum leaps and inspirations and ideas that can come down into you. And when you're grounded, they're not just going to spin. There can be too many ideas. They're going to come down, hit your sixth chakra when you're grounded in your mind space, your beautiful mind space, instead of spinning with that frantic, frenetic energy is going to start looking at those ideas and seeing ways to start making them happen. And your mind will start to lock in on steps and strategies and actions. So just take a breath and imagine this violet light coming down into your body and illuminating your sixth chakra, the most beautiful side of your mind state. And with that energy, your mind starts to get clear and calm and focused and starts to see that stack of folders as just one step at a time and starts to see that you could probably do twice as much in half the time when you work in an inspired, excited way, right? When you're working in an expire, inspired, excited, curious way way. So just let that possibility be there. When I really focus my energy and co-create my world, I can get three times done in half the time. Wouldn't that be a fun miracle? Of course that's possible. Anything is possible when you are powerfully in your body and operating in an inspired way in a strategic step-by-step -step way. And that is exactly what we need to do when we are trying to grow our businesses pretty much in our homes alone. So just take a breath, feel that beautiful energy, and come back to this moment, or stay there if you like, and be in that energy today. And I want you to revisit this for Monday when you get back to work, right? Because Monday is coming right around the corner. I'm going to be welcoming all my new coaches into the program as I am today. So I'm going to be doing this process as well to get me ready for my week. But I wanted to share it with you today to help you get powerfully into your body. Again, this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. All done talking about the coach training program because enrollment is closing today. Certainly, if you're still trying to find out if there's a spot open, get with our team. I'll put the link below to email us. Um, but I'm just going to be back here giving you awesome stuff for coaches and for healers and for people to actually be more alive, more passionate, and more brilliant in your life. So I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.